What's up YouTube? Um, this is Jonathan Kane and I wanted to give a update on my 3D printer. Um, more specifically on a filament I've been using. Um, it's called NinjaFlex. So if you haven't heard of NinjaFlex, it's um, a type of flexible filament. If you use the PLA, it's all rigid. Like, here's some PLA. It's all like rigid and it likes to break and whatnot. I'm not going to break it because it's expensive. But nin unlike that, NinjaFlex is flexible. If you look, it's like more like a string. And if I can get myself set up, that will set up. Look, I'm, when I pull on it, it's stretchy. It also makes a good guitar string, I guess. So, the thing about it is that you can make flexible things. Like here's a little frog. And unlike a rigid object, you can crush it in your hand and it will always come back to its original shape. Um, it's also known as a filament called TPE or thermoplastic elastomere. And also make so, so it's flexible it's like a rubber in some ways you can also make a make stress balls so this is a um, stress ball I just finished making I'm making I'm running off another one right now and yeah crush it in your hands and it will do a lot of cool things there's a lot of great things you can do with it the thing about it though is it's a real pain to um, print with in some ways because you can't just stick it in your printer and it'll just print magically so well maybe it depends on your printer but for the ANA A8 it won't work immediately but it's a rather easy modification to do so if you go on Thingiverse and I'll post a link to this specific file there is a um, little flexible filament guide that you can print for your extruder and it'll make it work don't think I'll be able to show it in here, but underneath that um, the heat break, or underneath this little heat sink right here, there is a you have a spring, um, the hob gear, um, a uh, circular bearing, and then there's um, the a uh, little distance between that gear hob gear and the entrance to the melt zone. So where that here. See where that little nut is on, that's connected to the heater? There's a little piece of uh, a little piece of it. Actually, you might be able to see it right between. See that little 3D printed part? That's what I'm referring to. It just slides in. You have to unload your filament for this to work because otherwise it'll be in the way. But do that. Um, it, also, um, I discovered. Take, a, take your um, Allen key, so this little Allen key right here, and tighten up the tighten up the uh, screw that is holding this piece in place, and also the uh, circular bearing that is to the left. You want to make sure that's completely tightened. It'll make it harder to um, like press this down, but it's a good thing because if the um, slight looseness that it comes with will allow it to, will allow it to slide around a little bit and that just a little bit is enough to make this filament kink and fail so that's the first thing you need to do if you can get all that so the three things you need to do is print that print that um, flexible filament guide stick it in the extruder tighten up the uh, screws and then you're pretty much ready to go so for print settings uh, you want your heat bed to be about 40 degrees Celsius. Um, your extruder temperature, I set it to 220. You can go up to 235, but I don't think it's necessary. 220 seems to work really well. There's a bug on my 3D printer. Okay. Um, and as far as um, speeds go, you want to print it rather slowly. At the fastest speed, you want to be at 30 millimeters per second, um, which I think is actually pushing it in some ways. Uh, I use Simplify 3D, so it's a dozen millimeters per minute. I will um, post a the uh, FFF profile that I have for my NinjaFlex, and it seems to work rather well. Like the quality is pretty good. I 
there's almost no blemishes until like at the bottom where there's support material. Um, and that's just because of overhangs, which, by the way, um, printing supports with Ninja Flex is a pain, so try to avoid printing supports if you can. Simplify 3D um, puts a little bit of a distance between the support and the actual model, so it works a little bit better. But that's important. Also, the great thing is adhesion for um, Ninja Flex is not really that bad. So, like I'm just printing straight up on glass, and I'm actually going to try and see if I can print um, standard PLA straight up on glass. It should work well. And I think I. Oh, yeah. Also, with the traction and stringing, you're going to have a lot of stringing. So, in your 3D, um, in your uh, flash, your settings, you're going to want to uh, make sure you can enable the um, option where it'll try to avoid crossing the perimeter so that all the stringing occurs inside the model where you can't see it. So, yeah, stringing is a real issue. And I think that just taking a lighter really quickly, briefly to it, will do it. So, like a heat gun or something will get rid of it, sort of. It's a, You have to use um, different things, but it'll print really well and it's really easy to use. It is rather expensive, and it's really interesting what you can print with it. So, that's all I have to say, so, if you have a comment or have questions, leave it in the comments, I'd be happy, more than happy to, quest to answer it. If not, you can direct message me um, from the Facebook group, or find me on the Facebook group, and I will answer any questions about that. And with that, um, I will say thanks for watching.